In recent years, there's been a lot more discussion about histamine-related issues, whether it's histamine intolerance or mast cell activation syndrome. And it's a really great thing that there's more awareness of these conditions because so many people who are suffering from complex chronic illnesses are dealing with histamine issues as a significant part of their pathophysiological picture. Um, one of the things that's not widely known or talked about is that mast cells, these special specialized white blood cells that contain and release histamine when they're stimulated to do so by an allergen or something that causes them to, to release their contents, um, those mast cells actually have receptors for histamine on their outer membranes. So meaning that when there's too much histamine in the body, it will bind to those receptors on the mast cells and create or, or, or lead to the release of even more histamine. So histamine is kind of this self-fulfilling prophecy in a way where the more histamine you have, the more mast cell activation occurs. So the more histamine you have and even more mast cell activation and it can create this big inflammatory quagmire or lead to a lot of reactions or sensitivities to supplements or foods or environmental um, uh, allergens or things like that. So one of the things that's important to note is that by quelling or reducing the amount of histamine in the body, it can actually ultimately treat those histamine issues on a really fundamental level.